Okay, people, we live. So, so sorry for the delay. Um, but when I said a brother had tech issues, a brother had tech issues. Um, all right. Cool. So, I'm going to share my screen. Now, I actually went. Um, Y'all going to, I'm going to over deliver for you guys because y'all mm -hmm. know I usually don't do slides when I go live, but this tonight, I actually created slides for y'all. Okay. So I hope y'all appreciate it. And uh, bu -bu 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 okay, share my screen. So tonight, um, okay. So if y'all don't know, I'm gonna, I'm live on Facebook and YouTube. I was gonna go live on Instagram, but I cannot share my screen on Instagram. So Instagram is gonna have to do that. All right, so. Okay. Let me play my theme music. And y'all know the only reason I'm doing this is because I love playing music. <laughs> and I always play music on my lives. Millie, did you notice? I did notice. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes. So tell me if you know what this is. <laughs> We're gonna play uh name that tune? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me go on YouTube real quick. I hate these ads. Yeah, buddy. You know, <laughs> Maestro. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. <laughs> that, yo, that is my show. You know what that is? Game of Thrones. <laughs> yes, that is my show. You know, I did not get to see the 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 last uh, the last season at all. For real? Yeah, man. Oh man, I heard uh, it was good. You uh, yeah, you missed the. I missed a whole lot. Good. I know. 
it was a it was a shorter season, but it was it was good because they they compared <laughs> like some episodes, so it was like six episodes, but some of them were like an hour and a half, so mm-hmm. it was really like felt like nine, but it was um <clears throat> I binge watched it too because I started I started late to Game of Thrones. Oh. Um. I started watching it like three years ago. I don't know if it's on Netflix. Or I haven't seen it on Netflix or Hulu, so I can't binge watch anything. <laughs> I wish I could. No, you can only catch it on HBO. Oh, yeah, I'm not paying for that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have Amazon Prime or Amazon Video, you could get it, get the app, I, and it's like $9 a month. I actually have Amazon Prime. Well, go to mm. Amazon Video and get the um, get the um, the HBO app, and it's nine dollars a month. That's cheap. So that's what I. Well, do. then th- th- that would mean that I would have to cancel uh, Netflix because <laughs> I'm not paying for both. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, but I mean, <laughs> I would um, well. Uh, I would say it's a ne- necessary sacrifice. So yeah, necessary sacrifice exactly. <laughs> well, enough rambling. We're gonna we're gonna edit this out on the um when we go when they do the replay. All right. Very good. All right, folks. Sorry for the delay, but I hope you all enjoyed that intro. You know what got to make an intro, but um, my name is Michael Mattis coming to you live from New York City. It is cold as hell here, but we make it. We're making it. We're making it. And on this live, I got my friend, my co-host, my business partner, Miss Milagros. She's gonna be um, she's gonna be helping me monitor the chat for a while before she goes. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Um, go ahead, madam. Hello, everyone. My name is Milagros Berrios. I, I come from the Bronx, currently residing in Staten Island. I am a full-time mom. I am studying for my real estate license. Um, I'm also a business owner. And mm-hmm. as a business owner, um, I am a grant specialist with a company called Fund My Home which helps people to um, become homeowners. Now, everybody needs a home. I know I do. So, (laughs) you know, um, (laughs) the purpose of uh, Fund My Home is, like I said, to foster home ownership by providing down down payment assistance um, to participating people that, um, you know, that are willing to or or not willing but want to buy a home um mm-hmm. i am going to co- i've condensed this you know to just say the basics but if you want some more information please uh feel free to uh email me at milagros.barrios13 at gmail.com thank you and Enjoy the rest of this live. Back to you. All right. So um, just put your email in the chat so they can oh, um, sure will. catch it. And in the meantime, I'm going to share my screen again. All right. So... To, 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 to. I actually went above and beyond and actually like put in some work. Like I created slides for y'all, man. Like <laughs> on none of my live streams, I've never created slides before. And wow, today I did. Like I actually this spent special spent hours, you know, gathering some data for y'all and some numbers oh. and some stats and some statistics. So, I hmm. hope y'all appreciate it. We will. I'm sure we will. 
All right. So, Melly, you know what we're going to talk about, right? Absolutely. We're going to talk about reducing some expenses. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, what kind of expenses? Well, don't well worry, don't not worry. sure. I, actually, you know what? I am not sure, to be honest. Uh, good answer. But uh, that's why. That's why you're the brains of this operation. <laughs> yeah, and that's why we're going to make them anticipate it. <laughs> but, um, let me ask you before I start. What bill do you hate paying the most? <sighs> My electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see it, I cringe. <laughs> Why is that? Because my bill is like $2,000 for no reason. I've been $2, carrying $2, that bill forever. <laughs> wait, wait. You said, is that per month? <laughs> I mean, I got it down to like 1800 but yeah. Every month, my bill is... Um, well, I've been like I said, I've been carrying that bill for years, and in every place that I go, it just adds to it because I pay heat. Okay, I, I, um, my heat and my my light are together. Okay, heat, but but my heat is electric. Okay. But you're you're a single person, and <laughs> you live you live alone. So how is it that high? Oh well, see, um, my daughter was living with me for some time, and uh, while I was at work and she was playing hooky from school, she had the heat on <laughs> every single day. <laughs> uh, so from. I mean, I'm sure she stopped playing hooky, so didn't it go down? Yeah, because I paid it, but it didn't go down that much. Uh, so what's the lowest it ever went down? Um, about 900. <laughs> so it never... <laughs> so basically, it only went below 1,000 one time. No, I mean my bill is like two hundred dollars every month, but it adds to that two thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. People, uh, that's why some people moving out of New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Imagine it. I mean, that's so. Imagine if you had a four or five people in your house, how much you would be paying? <sighs> I would. I would. I, I. I would. Yeah, I would leave them. <laughs> I would leave them. Did you mean move out the house and leave them in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you, um, I, I don't know what kind of mommy you would be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call you, but hey, sacrifices got to be made. Absolutely. All right, people. So, you okay? You waiting to take a shower? Uh, uh. Oh yeah, and anytime you gotta jet out or you go um, mute or just cut your um, camera. Yeah, I have to. I have to do. I will have to yeah. do something because young lady right. left. So I'm gonna mute you for a second, and yeah, then yeah. I'll be back. All right, do that. All right. Boom. All right, guys. So a little bit about me. I'm a sports junkie. Um, if you follow me on IG, you already know this. I love good food. I love trying new foods. Um, I run a, so I got a couple of brands that I run. I have a social media agency, which I started four years ago, and we basically help um, small business owners manage their social media and 
um, grow their presence online. Um, I also have an entertainment company, which I started three years ago. Um, that's, that's my baby right there. Cause, uh, I just love, I love live music and that's, this, this is like one thing that if I never got paid for it, like I would still be happy. I would still be good. Cause I just love, um, that space. I love working with artists and I love getting them, you know, exposure. And I just, I also, I love marketing. So, so basically my, my, I didn't even mention it. Um, so basically what we do is we do PR and advertising for independent artists. So if y'all know any artists out there, tell them to hit me up. And I also run the online directory for restaurants. It's called 929eats.com. Um, y'all could go check that out. And if you follow me on IG, it's in my bio. So that's what it is. Okay, so tonight we are going to be covering why it's important to start saving before the winter, um, the top four energy vampires and how to kill them. You might be wondering, what the hell is an energy vampire? Stay tuned, stay tuned. Um, number three, how to avoid paying your car insurance next month. Yeah, believe that. And my secret weapon and how I reduced my T-Mobile bill by $30. And I didn't even have to call them. What? Yeah. I didn't have to pick up the phone, man. So <laughs> let's go into it. So have it. Um, why is having an emergency fund important, guys? Huh? Does... Well, frankly, I don't think everybody got an emergency fund. And you should, but I heard a stat one time. It says the average the average American doesn't have enough funds to um, last, don't have enough savings to last three months if they were to get laid off. Ain't that crazy? So... Having, having an emergency fund is important for a couple of reasons. One, help combat inflation. Um, inflation is basically the increase. Well, just go, just go Google it. But the price of inflation goes up 3% every year, right? So the only thing that doesn't go up is our wages. You know, some of you, some of our hourly wages stay the same for five, 10 years. You know, we, you'd be lucky if you get a two, two or three percent increase. You know, a, a raise here and there, but most people don't. So, how can we combat that when you know inflation is going up? Another reason you need to have emergency funds: food costs. You know, like I said, food costs is a part of inflation, and you know, every year, I'm sure you're going. For those who go grocery shopping, you go into your, just, I'm sure like every three, four months, you go into your grocery store, you know, it's like, damn, there is the price of eggs. Damn, there is the price of shit. Like, damn, bananas went up. Milk went up. The rice went up. Cereal. Food price going up every year. So, I'm sure I've noticed it too. So if y'all go grocery shopping, I'm sure y'all notice. Another reason, um, energy costs. Like if you live on the East Coast or in the Midwest, I'm sure you know that between like October through like March, energy costs is like go up extremely high. And it's due to the fact that, you know, it's cold and we have to turn the heat on to keep the house warm and comfortable. And unfortunately, when that happens, you know, use more, use more heat. So that's why some of y'all um, gas bills be so high. Uh, another reason is um, transportation. That's another 
variable in that inflation in that inflation index, right? So in here in New York, um, we have what's called the MTA, which stands for the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. And that's basically like the buses and the train system. So they've been impacted a lot by COVID-19. And for, um, from March to, I think, September 1st, you were, you were allowed to ride the bus for free, right? And that was a good thing because obviously a lot of people got laid off, weren't working, and weren't going to be able to go from place to place. They weren't going to be able to pay to get on the bus. Now, you still had to, they still charge you to get on the train, but the bus was free. So, but the side effect of that is that because they weren't, you know, the bus is, you know, a big part of their revenue. So, um, in the, within the past couple of weeks, they've been reporting that they, that MTA are going to be forced to lay off 40% of its um, employees due to the fact that, you know, they've lost um, a majority of revenue during COVID-19, and that was a big impact to their budget. So the one, you know, that happened. Now, if they don't get any stimulus by the federal government, they're going to be forced to lay off a lot of people. So... That's another reason um, you need to have an emergency fund because buses ain't running. You know, you're going to need some money to take the cab or Uber to work or school or wherever you got to go. And lastly is um, medical emergencies. You know, um, nowadays, you know, the slightest thing, anything can happen to you for you to um, end up in the ER. But nowadays it's more, it's more um, fragile like life is so fragile because we have this damn pandemic and you know you could have it not know and or you could have it and start feeling the symptoms and end up having to you know go to ER or urgent care and some of you don't have insurance and you're gonna have to pay out of pocket so if you don't have any you know savings on your mattress you know how you gonna pay for that so that's these are the um, few type of reasons why you definitely need to have an emergency fund like going forward. And if you don't have one now, like start planning it out. Start paying yourself first and putting like ten percent of every check, you know, into some kind of savings account. You know, yeah, you can keep it in the bank, but I have something in the crib too, so you know. God forbid you, your kitchen catch on fire. You know, you, you could take that with you. All right. So <clears throat> for those who live in, live in New York, like you already know, like you already know. So according to a report from move.org, New York is one of the fifth, fifth most expensive states in terms of utilities um, in the country. So in 2008, they came out with this report that broke down um, some of the top utilities that people had to pay for each month. And the most expensive one was electricity, which um, Milagros was just touching on. Like she paid, she pays um, what, $2,000? $2,000 a month, which is mind boggling, like $2,000. Sheesh. But the average per month, Um, yeah, the average per month is 173 for electricity. The average person pays uh, 102, 76. Internet, the average is 60, and you see the rest. So we're gonna do a little. Um, we're gonna do a little um, test with this later on, but just stay tuned. All right. 
So, and if anybody's leaving comments, just keep in mind, I can't see the chat, so I won't be able to answer any questions. Okay, until this is over. So whether whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, I won't be able to see um, any questions or any comments. All right, full screen right now. All right, so what impacts utilities the most? Well, these are a few. Um, one, where you live. If you're in a temperate climate, utilities won't cost as much because there's less need for costing for constant heating in the winter and air conditioning. But another is your use of resources. So if you leave the, um, <clears throat> here's a little insight. In terms, of, in terms of electricity and gas, if you leave the thermostat at 72 degrees in the winter, you pay more than if you will set it at 68. Now, if you lower the heat when you're not at home, you'll pay less. Think about that. And this is um, this is some data I got from nationwide.com. So they said installing a smart thermostat in your home is one of the most convenient things you could do to manage your utility usage. Many of these smartphone controlled devices let you view weekly or monthly usage history, which gives you a clear picture of how often your heating and cooling systems are turning on and off. This helps you see opportunities to raise and lower your thermostat at certain times of the day. And another factor is the energy efficiency of your home. So, you know, not everybody got smart homes. You know, some of us, um, like where I, where I live, our house was built in the 1960s, right? So it's not like a newly built home. So, Installation and windows make a big difference in the average ut utility cost in a home. Energy can easily escape if there's no insulation or properly installed windows to protect the air transfer. And another factor is the size of your home. So obviously, if you live in a smaller home, you know, you're not going to use as much heat. And it's going to take less time to heat up your home. Okay. And a home that's 2,500 square foot will cost more than a home that's 1,400 square feet. You know, makes sense. All right. So did she come back? Oh, no, she's not back yet. So I found this um, this week when I was doing some digging. It's from Decision Data. They said the average cable bill will exceed all other household utilities combined. Ain't that crazy? Your cable bill is going to be higher than all your other utilities combined. Like, can you even fathom that? So they, they, they published a report and said the, the average household cable bill is now $217 per month. Which is, I know it, where I'm at here in the um, NYC, it's, that's about accurate. The average household spends $205 on all major utilities combined, which is electricity, gas, sewage, all of that. And uh, can I hide this? The average household cable now, the average household cable package cost continues to increase year over year. And let me tell y'all, I have, I used to have Verizon and remember when I asked um, Milagros what bill she hate paying the most? The bill I hate paying the most was Verizon. Cause just when, you know, when you get a cable, when you first get the service, you know, they give you an introductory rate for, for a year. And then after that, it goes up like $40, $60. And the same thing happened with us. But, you know, the number they usually tell you that it's going to come down to or go up to, let's say you get an introductory rate of $95 per month for the first year. And then it goes up to, they tell you it's going to go up to $145. But, but it ends up being like 170, 180. 
That's what happened in my case. Yo, Verizon, that's that's that bill. I hate paying that, yo. And anytime I will call them, you know, to vent and tell them I give them a piece of my mind, you know, they'll you know, they'll try to, you know, make it up to you and you know, promise you they're gonna lower it by this amount, and then after like a month and a half, it goes back up to the same price. I'm like, yo, that bill used to drive me crazy, man. <clears throat> All right, so in late 2009, Fortune reported another year of annual increase in the average capability. So they dove deeper. They found that last year, the average consumer now pays more for their cable bill than they do for their household utilities. All right. So look at um look at this little graph right here. The, cap the average cable bill was 217 per month. Electricity and gas, 135. Water was 54. Garbage, 15. I don't really pay nothing for garbage, but my water bill is not cheap. Man, my water bill is 248. Think about that. 248. It's only two people in our house. Now it's a two family house, but it's only two of us. And I, I can never understand like we ain't using that much water, you know? We haven't we didn't build the slide and go and split splash every every night. You know, so why the hell is it so hot? I can never figure that out. And you know, sometimes you look at the back of the bill and the numbers, you try and figure it out. It's like reading the damn calculus paper. Like, well, what do these numbers mean? Like, you really need an expert to guide you through reading that damn bill. So, <clears throat> let me get into the five keys to help you lower some of these um, utility bills. All right. So, Number one, when you wash your clothes, when you do laundry, if you have a if you have a um a washer and a dryer, when you after you wash your clothes, hang it outside. All right, that's what I do. Because I know from the past, anytime you use your dryer or overuse it, you could expect to see your bill a little higher that month. Right. You might see another twenty twenty five dollars added on to that bill. So, and you know that's that's what our grandparents did back in the day. You know, wash your clothes. You know, well they would wash it in the bucket, hang it on the clothesline. Nowadays we got the we got the luxury of having a washer and a dryer, but just be careful on how often you use each one of those. Like if you wash your clothes once a week. Um, don't use the dryer. All right. So wash it in cold water. Um, many dishes, many, um, many dishwashers electrically heat water internally to a higher temperature, and most dishes don't need it. Okay. Same goes for your clothes. So another thing, your light bulbs. Start replacing them, suckers. The old light bulbs. Um. The incandescent light bulbs, those cost more per kilowatt than the fluorescent light than the fluorescent light bulbs. So switch out switch out those. You know you could get those anywhere: Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart. Another thing: um, clean the filters in the air conditioner and the heaters, even the window units. The filters that keep the air circulating, like those got to be routinely cleaned. All right. And number five, turn off or unplug computer equipment, accessories, or any electronics you're not using. When I used to have an apartment in um in the north side of Queens, I used to um I used to have a roommate, right? When I would go when I would go to work in the morning, I'll plug out the microwave. Now plug out the fridge. 
you might be saying like, well, why why are you plugging out the fridge? Don't you got food in there? Mm, nah, there was no food in there. <laughs> so we needed to plug out. <laughs> but now nah, I'm lying. I would um I would plug it out, but my roommate would be there. So after a while, he would notice. He kept wondering, like, why you keep plugging the electricity um the appliances off? I'm like, cause I cause we split bills. I was the one in charge of paying the electricity bill. He was paying, I think, the water bill. So I'm like, wait, if I'm gonna be paying this, I don't want this thing to keep going up. So we're gonna have to plug out a couple things around here. So every day I would go to work, plug out the microwave, plug out the fridge, and he would plug it back in. But <laughs> hey, you know, you gotta try to find a way to save, you know, a couple of dollars in there. And that's one of the things I was doing. All right. So bonus tip. Consider using space heaters. And I have one of those in my in my uh, in my garage that I'm gonna bring up pretty soon. Because sometimes even if the heat is on, like it'll still be cold in the living room. And that's because it's not insulated properly. So um that's another thing that I learned. Like the the air conditioner, like it during the winter, air will come through that thing. So if you don't seal it off and cover it up properly, like you're gonna still feel air coming out. It's gonna be chillier. It might be you might come home from work, it might be chilly, and you might be wondering why is it so chilly? That's because the thing is not properly, you know, insulated. So consider that. Um, use passive solar energy. You might be wondering, passive solar energy, what is that? The sunlight, baby. So I've noticed this the past few years too, but I've noticed this for a while. Uh, anytime I open my window, close the door, leave and come back at, um, later on in the night, my room will be warmer. Why? Because my window is usually facing the sun and the sunlight, you know, is shining through all over my room. So it heats up the room automatically. And the same thing happens. Well, and you do the opposite too in the um in the in the in the summer. So let's say you live in like Florida or hot ass Texas. So you know to create you know a little bit of uh cooler temperature, you want to close the blinds at at your windows, okay? Or wherever you have blinds and the sun is shining through. Close that thing in the morning before you leave. And then when you come back, you know, open it back up. Um, I'm sure it's going to reduce the temperature of the room by a few degrees. And you might not feel a difference, but if you live, if you live in that kind of, you know, weather environment, you should notice a difference. And, you know, you have a, you have a thermostat. It'll tell you if the temperature dropped or not. Oh, and my last one, y'all got to learn how to cook, man. Stop eating out every day. Like, it's one thing to eat out once a week, but to eat out three, four times a week? Come on. Fellas, fellas, come on. Ain't no woman want a brother that can't cook. Y'all got to, if y'all got to take some cooking classes, take some cooking classes, man. Learn what a utensil is. Learn what a frying pan is. Learn how to work it together. Okay? Come on now. You could save so much money by not eating out all the damn time. Am I right, ladies? Okay. And ladies, that, that go for y'all too. Like some of y'all gotta, you know, learn a recipe or two. You know, dig into your grandmama's, you know, cooking book, see what they got. You find some, you find some great recipes in there, I'm sure. <clears throat> All right, action steps. Boom. So this is what I want y'all to do. Keep track of what you're spending each month, right? And whether you gotta use a spreadsheet or get a, you do it the regular way, get a pen and a notepad. I want you to find your AUC. Now your A1C for your AUC. And what is that? That's your average utility cost, right? So 
you want to write down how much you're spending each month, right? And I would suggest y'all start this as soon as possible. Write down what you're spending each month on utilities. And go back 12 months, the last 12 months, and add up all the numbers. Add up the total, divide it by 12, and you will get your AUC. That's the average utility cost. Now, knowing the average, you'll know what to budget for each month. So let's say in the prior example, remember what I show on the graph? The total was like 447. So if your total, if, you, if, if the following month, your total is less than 447, then that's extra money. You put that in the envelope and you save that. Don't touch it. And if it's higher, then, you know, you don't got to ask nobody for $20, $30. You can go in that envelope, take that, and pay um, your utility bill for that month. Okay? And that way, you know, you know, you cover your, you cover, you know, your utilities every month. You don't got to worry about being late. All right, next. Y'all gonna like this. Something I learned over the summer. So one of my mentors, right? Um, he said, and this was during the height of COVID. Like, he basically told us how we could get away with murder. No, how does how to, how to avoid paying your car insurance? So basically, if you're if you're in a if you're in a tight situation, if you've been laid off, or you just you know you're gonna be you're trying to make ends meet, you know it's gonna be tough paying this bill this month. All you do, you call them up and you say, Hey, I would just like to know my name is you know, you have to be sincere, so just say, um, hey, my name is Jessica. You know, I've been um, a customer of your company for the past four years. And, you know, I've been laid off my job recently. And I just like to know if I could defer my payment for a couple months. And because I'm, re I'm really having a hard time, you know, paying my bills right now. And I want y'all to write that down because it's going to work. Okay. And when you do it, Call me and let me know, because that's what I did. But I did it with my phone bill. And one of my business partners, he did the same thing with his phone bill. And he got it deferred. No, he did it with it with it, um he did it with it with his with his insurance company. And they deferred the payment two months. I think it was I think it was like in June. I called T Mobile. I used the same script. I said, hey, um, I've been laid off recently and I've been having a hard time, you know, trying to make my payment. And I just wondered if I could get a deferred deferment on this month's bill. And they say, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll see you. Hold on a second. We'll see what we could do. And they went in the system and a little magic and gave me the answer I was looking for. They deferred my payment for like for that month. So instead of instead of me paying, you know, I usually pay $135. So instead of me paying that, you know, took that money and spent it on something else that needed to be paid off. So um those of you are for those of you guys out there that are struggling. I would consider trying that um, next month. If you have trouble paying the bill, um, call them up, you know, and be sincere about it. And you don't have to lie because, I mean, you're struggling, you're struggling. You know, if your budget's tight, your budget's tight. If you can't pay a bill, you can't pay a bill. Just be honest. You know, you don't got to lie about it. Like, you just being authentic. So try that. Let me know. Um, send me a message. Let me know and say, hey, I tried this and it worked out. I got it. I got it deferred. All right. 
So I'm going to talk about my secret weapon. Okay. You already see my secret weapon. This is, this is another strategy I use for my T-Mobile bill. Okay. Say hello to my little friend. His name is Bill. Genius. Yeah. So what is Bill Genius? Well, this is actually Bill Genius is um is a software company, right? So they basically I basically they basically have a team of agents that will get your bill reduced for you. Okay. And um one of my business partners introduced me to this and I got on it immediately because I was trying to get rid of that Verizon bill, man. And I did. Well, this was before I, I cut Verizon off, man. I canceled that. I got Time Warner and I got a lower um, plan with them. And then for my T-Mobile bill, you know, I uploaded my bill within a couple of weeks. They, um, they send me an email. They're saying they're working on it. And this is what happened. I'm going to show you all. So this is the email that I got, all right? So it says, just a quick heads up. Your T-Mobile bill, your access to negotiate September 6th has been assigned to one of our Bill Genius ex experts, um, Rosanna A., Rosanna will get started working on your bill soon. We'll send you another notification when they start negotiating on your bill on your behalf. So what happened next was uh, um, what was it? I got a text from T-Mobile. So I don't know if any of y'all have like um signed up for text notifications from your phone service, but I get I get notified each month when my bill is due. Okay, so when was this? Okay, this was October 1st, right? So this I got this text. So it says, we place your requested adjustment of $30 to your account for details, um, view account events. So when I got the text, I was like, uh, what adjustment? I didn't ask for no adjustment. Now I started thinking, I'm like, oh, that must be Bill Genius. Um, I think that must have been Rosanna, Rosanna's doing. Like, she's been working on my stuff. So I got a text October 10th. It says, your T-Mobile bill of 103 um, is now available. Auto pay is scheduled for 1026. So I usually pay 133, right? I was paying 133 before. And they got it adjusted, gave me credit, and got it down to 103. So last, well, this month is the last day of October. So a few days ago, um, when the payment went through, I only paid 103. It saved me $30. I was so happy. Man. So when I went in, when I signed into my account, this is what I saw you have a credit of $30. So if y'all see um, at the bottom where it says September 8th, that was my last bill that I paid. And it was $133, like I said. And they got it adjusted at $30. So let me, um, let me step out and show y'all how Bill Genius looks. Let me slide over it. So when you um when you set up your account, right? This is um this is what you're gonna do. So you're gonna put in your email. After you've activated your um, your code, you're gonna put in your email. 
and put in if you're a home or business. I'm gonna put business. Um, put in your location. So continue. Woo. And then they're going to ask you to upload your bills, right? So they usually recommend uploading three bills. So I'm just going to select electricity, cable, and phone. Now I already did this, but this is um this is a demo account. So I'm just gonna show y'all, I'm showing you all the steps that you go through when you do this. So proceed to checkout. And so you put in your information, name, address, da da da, your business EIN if you have one. So only select a business account if you have an actual business, right? You're not, you're not a business owner, don't select business. And that you don't have to do. But this is this is the information you have to put in. And you only you only pay if they save you money. So let's say um they save you a hundred dollars, right? Your card will be on file. They they'll take half of the savings. So if they save you 100, you get 50, and they take 50. So technically, you're not paying nothing, okay? If they save you $200, you get 100, they take 100. And you still you still pay T-Mobile or whoever each month, but you know, you're paying them to negotiate and reduce your bill on your behalf. So you're being charged, but you're not being charged because they're taking a portion of those savings that you got, you know. And as a as a service fee, so my bill was thirty dollars in savings, and part of that fifteen dollars went to them. That's it. So, what's fifteen dollars to a pimp? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> so and that's it. And you're done. So after like a week or two, probably sooner than that, you're gonna get an email. And they're gonna every time there's anytime there's an update, you're gonna get an email. They're gonna show you, you know the process. So you know, they're gonna keep you in the loop of what's happening. Okay, so let me share back my screen. Um, so if anybody out there want to save some money, <laughs> let me know. All right. I hear some coughing. Are you back? I I've been back. Oh, okay. I was sure. <laughs> I'm like, who is that? I know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So you came back. I'm towards the end of it, but um, mm -hmm. so I'm just run through some folks that got some results with Bill Genius. You can see my screen? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So Thaddeus, he has an optimum bill that he uploaded, and he got this email saying, um, uh, on September 12th, you asked us to negotiate, and he was able to get you $478 in savings over the next 12 months. Say what? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And so each month he's going to be saving um, $40 over the next 12 months. So that's, that's, that's crazy. And 
another um, friend of ours, Lakia, she uploaded her t AT and T bill, <clears throat> and she was able to get six hundred and thirty thousand savings over the next twenty four months. Oh wow! <laughs> Say that again. Jeez. And that's you didn't have to do nothing. You know what I mean? Like all you're doing is uploading your bills and just sit back and wait. And they keep you updated. Oh, maybe they could do that for me too. Of course they could. <laughs> Mama could use some a break in that bill, man. <laughs> Two thousand dollars? I believe so. I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we go, we go, we go work on your bill, man. Next, next week, we, we, yeah, we gotta work on that one. Yeah, next week we gonna, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna come back next week and upload that bill for you. All right, so Ryan, um, he uploaded his Serum XM bill and was able to get one hundred and twenty dollars in savings over the next twelve months. Nice, nice. And I think this is. Um, the last one. I think that this is an Anthony. My man got five hundred and forty dollars in total savings over the next thirteen months. Wow! And how how they're able to get it? Like, if you've been with a certain service for a while, like the more savings uh -huh. you can get. Now, if okay. you just started your contract with AT and T or or whoever. Then most likely you probably uh -huh. they, they probably give you like the best rate because it's at the beginning of your contract. Mm. But after after a certain period, you know, there's usually savings and all kind of credits available, but they never call you to let you know. Like you can save you seventy dollars next month. You do you want it? <laughs> like you would never get a call like that. No, never, never. That's why these people are like a uh, lifesaver, y'all. Because they just, they're like, they're like your virtual assistant that's always working for you. And you don't got to pay them nothing. I, like, absolutely. So, oh, yeah, this is the last one, I think. This is Siobhan. She got $20. Okay. So you can see. I'll take a 20 <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's tw that's twenty eight. You can spend on groceries. You know that's right. <laughs> Especially in New York, you know, a dollar saved is a dollar mm -hmm, earned. Mm -hmm. Don't let the pigeons get it. <laughs> All right, guys. So if y'all want a free account to um Bill Genius, um, just text me. This is my number. A six three two two zero seven four zero one, and I'm gonna send you a link. You activate this code right here. So I'm gonna give you all like a minute to write this down, and this code is gonna allow you to create a free account, and you can use it at any time, whenever you want. If you have a bill, upload it, and watch these people go to work for you. <clears throat> All right. So but 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 I'm pretty much done. Um Milagros next week. Yes sir. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> get your bills uploaded. And absolutely we're gonna you're gonna be sharing your screen. So you're gonna you're gonna show them these people Basically, you're gonna be like my pet project. <laughs> Woo wee! <laughs> you're gonna be exhibit eight. So, exhibit eight. <laughs> you see here this bill, this bill, this bill needs to be cut in half. Where is it? Hold it up. <laughs> and I don't have it here. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and y'all, let me tell y'all. Where, where was it? This is my. Um, I had it with me. This is my water bill, right? This is one of the bills. I hate paying this bill the most. Now, there's only, let me tell y'all, um, let's give you guys up. There's only two bills that they can't help reduce is the water bill and the gas bill. Um, the gas bill, I uploaded my gas bill and they couldn't um, 
find any savings, but they said they're going to keep it um, on their to-do list. And within a month or in the middle of December, they're going to start doing some more work to see if they could get something done. So I uploaded four bills, I think. The gas, the water. That was the water. And you know, if you have a late on the bill, you know you're gonna um you're gonna pay late fees, data fees, mm -hmm. cloud fees, sky fees, air fees. Yo, there's so much, <laughs> there's so much fees on these bills, man. It's crazy. My gas bill, national grid, is two forty eight a month. So dang, they could cut that. Mine is sixty five. Yeah, if they could cut that down a little bit low, you know, save me $60, I'd be good. Yeah. I love my gas bill. I enjoy paying that one. Not, not my light bill. How much are you paying gas? $65. I wish I had that. <laughs> All right, this is one. I, mama, don't, mama don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We eat rabbit food. <laughs> well, I guess you know I ain't coming over there for Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, 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 no Thanksgiving here, man. You're getting a Purdue ch uh, Cornish game hen and a salad, and there you go, turkey day, all the way. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> you be uh, see you on you try to tell me you're on a diet or something? No, I'm not telling you that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not at also. all. Not on a diet. <clears throat> I know I really like salad. I, I, I really enjoy salad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like salad too, but I can't eat that three times a day. Oh, let's not get it twisted. <laughs> I don't eat it three times a day. <laughs> Two, maybe, sometimes. Not all the time either. I like me my hamburger. I had Burger King today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Burger King. Yeah. I did. I sure mm -hmm. did. I had Burger King because I'm at work. So okay. or, or if I was home, I probably had a salad with, you know, a piece of chicken and stuff. But my salads are a meal. They're not just salad. My salad is a feast. Oh, so you get like that bowl with mass stuff in there? I make I make it myself. I buy everything. Yeah. Everything in the produce goes into my salad. <laughs> All right, I got you. Yeah, I mean, I like I like I like a thick salad too, and with the right dressing, I, I, I'll put that down. Oh. Yes. Woo. Absolutely. All right, people. Um, I'm pretty much done. That is it. Like I said, if um. Text me. That's my number. Hook you up with the code and set up your account and you're good to go. Next week, I'm going to be doing um, a giveaway of some BTC. You know what BTC is, right? No. That's Bitcoin. Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to give away that. To, um, the first three people that come on the live, I might make it a little harder. Um, first three is too easy, but. First five? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them a couple of questions, though. They got to they gotta work for it. Can't just be giving away Bitcoin. Mm. Bitcoin is valuable right now. Mm -mm. So. Folks, share this um, Facebook event. It's going to be up. The replay is going to be up soon. Share with two people and tag them. Let them know. We're going to be going live next weekend, next Saturday, around the same time. Might change, but we'll keep you posted. So that is it. She's Maligros. I'm Mike. And with the with the M&M crew. <laughs> you know, I just realized that your name's some of the F. 
could have called this the Eminem show. The Eminem show, yes, we could have, and we should have, and we should. Oh, man. We'll do that next week. I just got an idea. I'm sure you did. <laughs> You're the man with ideas. Work that, work that system, man. Hey, you put it in my head, so <laughs> I'm gonna do it. All righty. All right, sister. Chat to you later. All right. It was nice chatting with you. Until next Saturday. Okie doke. Later, guys. Have a great week.